Imagine a war where America's most advanced fighter jets are flying completely blind. Billion-dollar warships, deaf to commands. GPS-guided missiles, wandering totally off course. This isn't just a sci-fi fantasy, it's the terrifying possibility of modern electronic warfare. On today's battlefield, the side that controls the electromagnetic spectrum, those invisible waves carrying our data, commands, and navigation, controls the entire fight. For decades, the United States has been the undisputed king of that hill. But what if one military could make itself immune to all that chaos? What if they could carve out their own pocket of complete silence right in the middle of an electronic hurricane? According to recent reports, Chinese scientists believe they've done just that. They've developed a radical new technique that creates an eye of the storm on the electronic battlefield, a protected bubble that could give their forces a staggering advantage. Today, we're breaking down how this potentially revolutionary technology works, what it could mean for the global balance of power, and what it signals for the future of warfare. So, before we get into China's new concept, we need to get a handle on the arena where this fight is happening. It's not a physical place, but it's literally everywhere, the electromagnetic spectrum. Just think of it as the nervous system of any modern army. Every chad between a soldier and their commander, every GPS coordinate fed to a missile, every radar pulse spotting a threat, it all zips through this invisible space. Electronic warfare, or EW, is basically the art of controlling that space. The simplest way to think about it is trying to have a conversation while your enemy is screaming at the top of their lungs. That screaming is called jamming. A powerful jammer can flood the airwaves with so much electronic noise that the real signals, the ones guiding a smart bomb or connecting a pilot to their base, just get drowned out. The result? Total paralysis. Drones can fall out of the sky, ships lose contact with the fleet, and precision weapons become just dumb chunks of metal. For years, the US has been the best at this. Jets like the EA-18G Growler are essentially the loudest screamers on the battlefield, designed to blind and deafen adversaries. But this has always had a huge flaw. When you scream that loud, you deafen everyone, including your own side. This is the classic trade-off in electronic warfare. To blind your enemy, you often have to blind yourself, forcing your own troops to deal with spotty communications and navigation. Militaries had to choose, use their best electronic weapons, or maintain their own command and control. It's a compromise that has defined the limits of EW well until now. A team of Chinese scientists, led from the Beijing Institute of Technology, has proposed a way to sidestep this problem entirely. They published a paper in the journal, Acta Electronica Sinica on a concept that isn't just a small step forward, it's a whole new way of thinking. They call it, the electromagnetic calm zone, or as we're calling it, the eye of the storm. So, how's it supposed to work? Instead of one giant, brute force jammer, the system uses two or more drones working in perfect sync. Picture two drones flying in a precise formation. The first one acts as the main jammer, blasting out a powerful wave of electronic noise to mess with enemy systems, just like a traditional EW plane. But the second drone is the real game changer. It acts as a coordinated nullifier. It sends out an identical signal wave, but one that is perfectly inverted. This is all based on a physics principle called destructive interference, or phase cancellation. It's the exact same idea behind your noise-canceling headphones. The headphones listen to the noise around you and create an opposite sound wave. When the original noise and the new, inverted wave hit your ear at the same time, they cancel each other out. Silence. China's eye of the storm aims to apply this same principle to the whole battlefield. The two drones would precisely tune their signals so that when the waves meet at a specific spot, say, where friendly troops are operating, they completely annihilate each other. This creates a bubble, or maybe a corridor, of electromagnetic silence. Inside this bubble, Chinese forces could communicate and navigate with total clarity. Outside the bubble, the enemy is deaf, blind, and swimming in electronic chaos. In computer simulations, the results were incredible. The research team reported that even in an environment with an intense 20 decibel interference to signal ratio, they could reduce the interference inside the comm zone to basically zero. If this works in the real world, it's not just about protecting your own comms. 
it's about gaining an absolute, one-sided advantage. The strategic implications of this technology, if it can actually be deployed, are massive. It's a major break from how electronic warfare has always been done and could totally reshape military operations. First, it could offer a huge offensive edge. With their communications safe inside the comm zone, Chinese forces could potentially coordinate complex attacks deep inside enemy territory, all while the enemy's command systems are down. They could launch drone swarms, guide hypersonic missiles, and manage naval fleets without worrying about their own signals getting jammed. Second, it could act as a powerful defensive shield. Most of an adversary's advanced weapons depend on the electromagnetic spectrum. GPS guided bombs need satellite signals. Air to air missiles need to lock onto a jet's radar signature. Surveillance drones need to send data home. The eye of the storm is designed to make many of these systems useless, potentially neutralizing an opponent's most advanced and expensive toys. This highlights a different philosophy from current Western and Russian EW platforms, like the American EA 18G Growler or Russia's Kibini system. Those systems are powerful, but they're also electronically clumsy, often creating a huge, messy jamming footprint that leads to electromagnetic fratricide, accidentally jamming your own side. The Chinese concept favors precision over raw power, using techniques from advanced communications to solve this problem. It could allow the PLA to use the full force of electronic attack without paying the price. Of course, this tech didn't just appear out of nowhere. It's a key part of China's bigger military strategy, which is heavily focused on asymmetric capabilities. Asymmetric warfare isn't about matching your opponent tank for tank. It's about finding clever ways to sidestep their strengths by hitting their weaknesses. Instead of trying to build more aircraft carriers than the US Navy, China is investing in tech that could make those carriers vulnerable. For decades, the US military's strength has been built on information dominance, seeing everything, hearing everything, and communicating instantly across the globe. This eye of the storm technology strikes right at the heart of that advantage. It's a targeted weapon concept designed to dismantle the networked warfare doctrine that is central to American military power. The PLA's focus has shifted from informationized wars to intelligentized warfare, which means heavily integrating AI, cyber, and advanced EW to get a tech edge. This is feeding a non-stop cat and mouse game in the electromagnetic spectrum, with each side racing to build better jammers and more jam-resistant signals. A technology like this, if it becomes operational, could give China a serious leg up in that race forcing Western militaries to rethink their deep reliance on the spectrum and pour money into countermeasures. Okay, so it's time for a reality check. This eye of the storm technology is, for now, a concept that's been proven in computer models. It hasn't been tested under the chaotic, messy, and unpredictable conditions of a real battlefield. And the technical challenges of actually deploying it are enormous. The drones would need to stay in perfect synchronization, constantly adjusting their signals in real time to account for movement, weather, and enemy attempts to jam them. Getting the timing and positioning right, down to the picosecond and the millimeter for some advanced concepts, is unbelievably difficult. Plus, there are still big questions about the size and stability of this comm zone. Could it cover large, moving army, or is it just big enough for a single ship or a small command post? And what happens if one of the drones gets shot down? The system would need to be resilient, maybe using a mesh network of three or more drones that can pick up the slack if one is lost. And you can bet that militaries like the US wouldn't just stand by. They would immediately get to work on counter tactics, like finding ways to detect the faint electronic signature of the comm zone itself or to break the sync link between the drones. This will all but guarantee a new arms race in the invisible war of signals. Even with all the hurdles, the eye of the storm concept is a serious evolution in military thinking. It's a clear sign of China's ambition to shift from being a follower to a leader in critical military tech. By trying to solve the core paradox of electronic warfare, Chinese scientists have laid the theoretical groundwork for a weapon that could neutralize one of America's biggest military advantages. They've envisioned a way for their forces to act with perfect precision while their enemies are thrown into electronic chaos. While it's still theoretical, the message is clear. 
The invisible battlefield of the future might not be won by brute force, but by the quiet, precise control of the storm itself. This brings up a huge question for military planners everywhere. How do you adapt to a foe who might be able to simply turn off the battlefield for you? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you found this breakdown interesting, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next look at the tech that's shaping our world. Thanks for watching.